In 1951, a 31-year-old black tobacco farmer named Henrietta Lacks walked into Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. She was a vibrant mother of five, but she was suffering from aggressive cervical cancer. During her treatment, a doctor took two samples from her tumor, a sample of healthy tissue and a sample of the cancer. He did this without her knowledge and without her consent. This routine, unethical act would unknowingly change the world forever. For decades, scientists had one huge problem. They couldn't keep human cells alive in a lab. Every sample they tried to study would die within a few days. But Henrietta's cells were different. Her cells didn't die. In the lab, under the right conditions, they doubled every 24 hours. They were immortal. They were given a simple code name, Hella, from the first two letters of her first and last names. Henrietta Lacks died in agonizing pain just months later, in 1951, and was buried in an unmarked grave. But her cells lived on. The HALA cell line became the single most important tool in modern medicine. Henrietta's cells were used by Jonas Salk to test the first polio vaccine. Without HALA, we might not have defeated polio. Her cells have been used to study cancer, AIDS, viruses, and the effects of radiation. They were sent into space on the first space missions to see what would happen to human cells in zero gravity. They were essential for developing gene mapping, cloning, and in vitro fertilization, IVF. Trillions upon trillions of her cells exist in laboratories all over the globe today. By weight, they would be more than 50 million metric tons, a living mass far greater than her own body. But here is the devastating fact. For 25 years, her family had no idea. Henrietta's children grew up in poverty often unable to afford health insurance or the very medicines their mother's cells helped create. Meanwhile, corporations were making billions of dollars patenting and selling her cell line. Henrietta Lacks is the unknowing mother of modern medicine. Her immortal cells saved countless lives, but her story forces us to confront the dark legacy of science, race, and ethics.